Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am going to be flipping through two new sticker books from Mojo Jojo Plans. I also wanted to mention that, oh, because these are releasing today. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing, they'll be linked down in the description. I also have an affiliate link if you would like to use that to purchase. Also, there's another item that's releasing. I don't have it, but I'll have like an image of it. It is a new sticker album book um, that has like plastic sheet protectors and stuff. Um, there's certain bundles and different ways that you can buy it. So definitely check that out as well. Um, but it's really, really cute. Um, has a really fun cover. So definitely check it out. Uh, but for now, I'm going to flip through these two new books. We have mini vertical rainbow boxes and then black boxes mini. So both mini sticker books. And then I think I want to play around with these and see how they fit in spreads. Obviously, they'll work in a mini, but I want to, I'm probably going to end up using these um, in a classic in the future. So I just want to see how they look um, in a spread. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to flip through these first. Okay, we'll go over black first. All the black boxes. I'm going to use my desk a little bit more. Okay, so all these tiny, tiny, tiny little boxes. They're so cute. Um, I was trying to think of like how I would use these or what I would use these for. Maybe like bills that are due, something, something small that I want to note. Um, or you could put like appointment and then you could put like the time in here. That would be cute. This is another good, like, little bill do kind of sticker. You can also use these in the monthlies. I think that would work. So I'll show that too, like, how they look in a monthly. So you get, like, varying, like, they're starting to get a little bit bigger in size. And they're all black. We have a more squared one here. Um, these have the little notch for the monthly. more of the vertical size boxes. I actually don't have a vertical planner, or else I would use that, like a mini vertical to see how they fit. But these are all sized to fit in a mini vertical if you have it. I only use like dashboard minis, but these would work in that too. Some nice long ones with some lines. I love black stickers. Now these definitely for sure will look good in a classic. I love this like square size. So that'll be good to use. These two, cause you can just cover this up, this little notch part with another box and like do some layering. I really like these like long strip ones too. Those are cool. So yeah, I got some, a few of these like longer boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, this one wasn't for the vertical. This was just mini in general. These are probably like for the horizontal planner. I forgot the colorful one is a mini one or the vertical one. But yeah, I really like these like long strips. Those are cool. I think these are for the dashboard. So good variety in here. If you like to use the mini, lots of good stickers that'll fit in those spreads. All right, and then I'm gonna go over next the rainbow one. All right, so this one is sized for the mini vertical planner. Okay, so we're gonna start off with reds. So two tones of reds here. All those tiny little boxes. I can't wait to use these, those are fun. Some lined ones. I love the oranges, especially that light orange. In the mini boxes, the bigger ones, yellow, green, And the blues, nice like sky blue and then like a royal blue. 
purples. I love these purples. Pinks. Love these pinks too. These are like her classic rainbow colors. If you ever purchased her rainbow books. And then we get some mixtures of different colors. I love this page right here. The greens, this like pink. It's kind of like an orangey pink. Um, we got purple, green, and blue here too. All right. So those were the mini vertical rainbow boxes. And then the black mini boxes. I'm going to pull a couple of planner pages to see how these work in those spreads. Okay, so I feel for me, I, I always use a classic. I feel like classic vertical is the most popular. So I'm going to just see how they look in here. Kind of do some examples, seeing so an idea. Um, I figure, okay, let's see how this like long one looks on the sidebar because I always put long stickers on the sidebar um but hmm, I probably wouldn't do it here but I think like say if you had a busier weekend or if you had like going away for the weekend and you wanted to do like a little list for yourself to get ready this might be cool to use as like a packing list type of list within your spread um, still gives you room around, doesn't take up too much, and you can fit a good amount in here. Yeah, you could do like a little list of things, cards, chargers, um, I'm trying to think of all the things I always forget, I always forget, um, oh, a pillow, <laughs> you know, all the things, um, but yeah, just kind of. It's a nice little listy kind of um, sticker. Because for me, like, this is a good amount of space to write within for listing. Um, the width is nice. Okay. And then I want to see. Um, okay, these tiny, tiny, tiny little boxes here. All right. So I figured these would be good for, like, a bill due. So you can like just stick one here. Let's say like Verizon. Oh yeah, that's like a good, I usually like to, do something like that with it. Or even like, I think I had mentioned earlier, like taking one of, um, these smaller ones. And then doing like a meeting sticker. Zoom meeting at 9 a.m. I always like to do the little arrows. But yeah, I really like that little tiny box because it like emphasizes the time, like it emphasizes the bill that's two so it's always nice to have these little tiny ones and then like they don't take up too much room which I like too um you can always do this box I mean this one you can even like maybe you do like a birthday um so you could do like mom's birthday Yeah, that's a good size for that amount of wording. Okay, I really like these like squared ones. These are really nice. And I like that it has lines too. So you could do something like this. Do a little layering. Like that fits nicely in the classic. I really like that. Okay. And then I think, oh, here's this, this is the last. Cause this one's like this one, just a little shorter. So I think you kind of get the idea of that one. Um, but this one's another nice little listy one, especially since it has the lines already in it. 
but I really like these for a classic spread. Yeah, I think they work very nicely if you use a classic. So obviously in a mini, it's gonna work nicely too. Um, I actually kind of want to try these out in a dashboard, even though like this is for a vertical, just to see how they fit. All right, so I have mini dashboard. This is size. I'm curious to see how they fit on this side, because this is the side that always gives me when, you know, the issues of like, what can fit in here? Okay, let's go with green. I'm trying to use the ones I know I won't use the most because I want to make sure I have some to use. But yeah, I really like these for the dashboard, even though this is meant for the, like these are sized for the vertical to fit in there. Um, but these will fit a lot. Like you'll be able to fit a good amount of things in here. And then you still have room here to write, you still have room here to write, which is nice. Um, let's see, this squared box fits nicely too in there. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, this fits nicely here. Perfect in that section. And then you could still like layer a box on the corner, gives you more room to write or up in here on this corner. That works nicely. These obviously won't fit in here, but these will look nice on this side. So let's do like this. I usually cover up this side. I'm not going to white everything out, but I usually white things out and then I'll put like a long list there. And then I'm not like, maybe like layer a box on top of here. Okay. So yeah, these definitely work very nicely in your mini. Jeez, you can get a lot in here actually, which I like. It's the same kind of idea that I would do like, you know, meeting. At 9 a.m. An arrow. I like, like I said, I like doing arrows. <laughs> um, like you, get, you can have like um, your errands here. You could do like your shopping list. Shopping here. Yeah, I just like always to have like a little box to outline important things. So I think these are very good. Love them. I'm excited to start using them in a classic though, because I think that's gonna be cool to use um, in a spread. Okay, so those are the two new books that are releasing today. Um, also, don't forget about that sticker storage book that's releasing as well. That's a really fun new product that she's launching um, on her website. So definitely check it out. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next one.